Uh, my name is uh, uh, Zhang Li, and uh, I work in the virtualization team. Uh, I joined the SUSE uh, one and a half years ago. I focus on the virtualization development, uh, uh, mainly about the QMU. So I'm all, uh, also interested in the different uh, virtualization technologies. So today I would like to introduce the DBDK because uh, we have some customers, they use the DBDK in the environment. So last year we get some problems uh, about the DBDK. Uh, although it is not really uh, only for the uh, virtualization, uh, DBDK is a, a software to improve the network. Actually, it should be the network development. I think there is some team. Uh, work on the DBDK. Uh, so I'm interested in it, so I get uh, some uh, uh, get some research and uh, I would like to give an introduction about it. Uh, so what, uh, okay, here's uh, today's the agenda. Uh, first, uh, I would like to introduce what is uh, DBDK. Uh, what's the scenarios of the DBDK? And then I, I would like to introduce the architectures and the components of the DBDK. At last, uh, I would like to introduce the DBDK in the virtualization environment. Uh, it, it is uh, used in the different scenarios, including the virtualization, uh, as well as if you don't have the virtualization environment, you can use it to, just to improve the network uh, on the host, it is uh, also useful. But most of the cases are mainly on the virtualization environment, uh, the cloud, uh, cloud computing and uh, edge computing. So at last, uh, I will give the conclusion. So what is the DBDK? Uh, generally, the DBDK is just uh, our data plan development kit for our um, uh, for the network management, it includes uh, uh, user space, uh, libraries, and uh, uh, for uh, and the drivers for the hardware drivers, and also as well as the virtualization uh, network card, the drivers. Uh, it is uh, improved to uh, it is to improve the fast package the process. Uh, it originally it's developed by the Intel on the x86. Uh, currently, there are a lot of the company has developed uh, the DBDK in the open source community, uh, including the SUSE. So uh, there, it, it supports the different uh, CPU types, such as the uh, IBM Power uh, and the ARM. I think there are also other companies, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, the network cards, the companies, and they also plan to, uh, to support the DBDK to improve the network the performance. Uh, so uh, it is uh, more and more complicated and uh, for the different uh, scenarios. So uh, I would like to introduce the scenarios of the DBDK. It's very interesting. Actually, if you want to use the DBDK, you can use it in all the kind of the scenarios as long as you want to do it. So the DBDK also uh, provides the, the, the DBDK API. You can modify the software to support the DBDK to improve the, your network. But the most scenarios is focused on this uh, four scenarios. The first is the NFV. It is uh, uh, very popular in the cloud environment uh, and also the edge computing. So uh, uh, the, 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 that is the most uh, scenarios. Uh, another one is the cloud computing. Uh, so uh, because in the cloud computing, we have the virtualization and the, the network is a very uh, the performance will be uh, will be infected because of virtualization overhead. So we need to find a way to improve the network 
especially in the scenarios which is required the performance is a very, uh, requires a high performance. Uh, for example, if you have a, uh, the, just like the live stream, you have you want to live stream uh, run the live stream on the cloud computing. You uh, but it's very important if you want to run it on the virtual machine. Uh, the virtualized network will uh, have a lot of uh, overhead. So. Uh, if we want, if we, if we use the DPDK, we can improve the performance greatly. So in edge computing, the scenarios, we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, scenarios that require the network. The performance is very critical, uh, in the, especially in the software, uh, in, in the software stack, and all, as well as the hardware. So sometimes the uh, we need to improve the performance in the software as well as the hardware. So we can use the hardware just like the smart, car, uh, smart network card, uh, and as well as the, uh, and also other kind of the uh, network card, uh, also uh, such as the critical uh, hardware, and the, we, uh, which is also would like to use the DBDK, would like to support the DBDK. So, uh, so currently uh, the, the edge computing has uh, uh, supports different solutions to uh, improve the uh, to improve the network with the DBDK. Uh, they have the different uh, the hardware support uh, and also uh, the software. So in the hardware, they have some, uh, uh, in some uh, with the, some the network card and uh, 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 to improve the network. So uh, the DBDK also uh, have, uh, it, it's a must to improve the network, which network performance. Uh, another scenario is about the telecommunication. Uh, nowadays, we have a lot of uh, application which is based on the network. Uh, the, you, uh, for example, you have uh, live, uh, the live show and uh, run the live stream, so you have to, uh, to, to, to enhance the network. Some, uh, some, uh, some companies, they uh, move the live show to the cloud environment, so they have to use the kind of way to improve the network. So the DPDK is very important for them. And also some the uh, application, the video and the VOIP, which is also the uh, network critical uh, application. So that is uh, very important. So no nowadays a lot of companies, they use the DPDK as the base network uh, software. So currently, there are a lot of uh, projects and uh, productions uh, with uh, DBDK in the open source community. Uh, it's, uh, open FV is very popular, and uh, Open V switch, which is the uh, virtual switch to, uh, to, uh, to support the DBDK. And uh, more and more, uh, more and more software has support the open v switch because it uh, supports the DPDK. And uh, other uh, software, such as the VPP, which is uh, another virtual switch, it also supports the DPDK. And uh, TREX, that is a software to generate the network packets. Uh, it is also useful. Uh, there, uh, there are a lot of uh, products which has uh, this, uh, which has a DBDK as the basic infrastructure, such as the uh, Red Hat, or OpenShift, uh, Open uh, OpenStack, and AWS, also Azure. The they, uh, they, uh, all the all of the products has considered as the um, basic the uh, infrastructure uh, to provide the customers. In, especially in the uh, cloud computing and uh, edge computing. So, 
uh, I think it's uh, very important for uh, for the for the cloud and the edge computing. So we may consider to do more work in the DBDK. But of course, it's uh, more uh, it, it's uh, complicated, and uh, maybe sometimes we consider about the different scenarios and uh, for special scenarios to evaluate the performance to improve the performance. Uh, next, I would like to introduce the DBDK, the architecture. Uh, uh, as we see in the diagram, there is, uh, uh, le the left is the traditional network uh, stack. It is the Linux kernel. It is, uh, the network will go from the user space and uh, to the kernel space. And the kernel space, the kernel driver, the kernel driver will contact contact with the network network hardware. So it will has it has a lot of overhead between the user space and the kernel space. When the user space the, to the kernel space, the system calls and the kernel space, the network driver, the interrupt is also overhead to influence the performance. On the right side is uh, uh, the DPDK uh, to improve the older stack. So the DPDK is a user space. It is, uh, pro uh, it is to provide the driver in user space. It uh, doesn't need the kernel to, to, uh, to enable the hardware to contact with the hardware. So it, uh, it can reduce a lot of uh, overhead between the user space and the kernel space. The DBDK also uh, used to provide a lot of uh, library, uh, the memory libraries and uh, uh, other kind of libraries. It can improve the performance with different, uh, uh, with different components, including the memory, uh, CPU, and uh, other implementation to improve the uh, performance. So we can see the 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 flow to uh, for for different uh, the scenarios. It is uh, the left is for the traditional network stack. So the hardware, so the uh, network card. If uh, the network card receives the packet, it will Write the uh, write the packet to the memory, and then the hardware will notify the CPU uh, by the interrupt, and then the CPU gets the interrupt. It will transmit the packet. So the process is uh, uh, including the memory write and the interrupt. The CPU have to transfer the packet. If there are a lot of the packets to transfer, so the, 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 there will be a lot of interrupt. There will be uh, overhead for the performance. Uh, on the right, is the, it is the PMD driver. It's a user space PMD driver. Uh, it used a, a polling mode to transfer the packets, the hardware, the network card will receive the packet, so it will send the packet to the memory, and the uh, and then the packet after the packet processing, it will transmit the packet directly, and then it will polling more and more. It's a, it's a uh, just a polling the. The, the memory and the polling poly if there is any more packets, it doesn't need to interrupt the CPU. So th this part is uh, uh, the, the, the big change of the, to compare with the network stack. Uh, network stack. So there are a lot of other improvements uh, to compare with the network stack. The first, uh, we, we, I just give the list, uh, 
the performance uh, overhead from the for current the network stack, the interrupt uh, context switches, uh, and the kernel user switches, and also the core to thread scheduling, and also the memory, the uh, four kilobytes paging, and all as well as the lock. So for DBDK, it has improved all these scenarios. So for the interrupt, it's used, uh, it uses the poly mode to in, it reduce the interrupt. And the kernel user switches, uh, the overhead, it used the uh, user mode to, to implement, to, to reduce the uh, overhead. And the uh, thread scheduling, the overhead, the, uh, it can use the p-thread affinity, the feature. So, and uh, for the four gigabytes of paging, it used uh, a huge page. Huge page, it is uh, on the Intel, the, the x86, it, it supports uh, two megabytes and uh, uh, one gigabytes uh, page size. It will, uh, it will reduce the overhead of the four, gig uh, four kilo paging because the, the page size is uh, much bigger and uh, it will reduce the TLB miss. So the performance should be uh, improved. Uh, another feature, it is the lock list inter core communication. Reduce the core, the, the, the overhead of uh, of the lock. Uh, it also provides a special the memory, memory management uh, uh, mechanism. It's, uh, does, it's different from the glibc, the memory malloc. So it also, re uh, it, it also improved the performance. According to the Intel's uh, testing, it, the result is that about 20% uh, performance improved. So it also uh, supports the AVX instruction uh, for the Intel hardware. It, is, uh, it also improved the, the memory access, the, uh, the performance. So next uh, we will introduce the DBDK, the components. Uh, we can take a look at the DBDK components, what uh, uh, has been in the DBDK, then we can know what the DBDK will do. Uh, uh, on the left is the core, it's the, uh, the, the core components, the EAL, it is a, 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 a abstract layer, and also uh, M, M buffer, it is a memory management, and the memory pool. Also, the ring ring buffer it is also a kind of the memory measurement and the timer. Uh, it also includes the different uh, device driver. So normally, uh, almost the network card has been supported. The, all the drivers have been included in the DBDK, uh, such as the IGB uh, E1000, uh, MX. Melox, Melox. And uh, the special part is that for virtualization, the Vault.io and uh, vHost, the via, uh, VMX and the Zen, the, 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 the device driver. So if the DBDK runs in the guest, it will, uh, it will use, the, for example, the Vault.io device driver and the vHost device driver. So for the DBDK, it supports the different scenarios. You can run it on the host, and you will call the, the, uh, the uh, physical network card, the driver. And if you run in the guest, it will call the virtualization, the device driver. Uh, so next, uh, uh, Let's see what is the EAL. EAL is the environment abstraction layer. It is to initialize the resources. It gives the uh, DBDK to access the, the hardware. 
the resources, the memory space, the devices, and the timers. So if you want to support the DBDK, you have, uh, at the first step, you have to initialize the, the resources, such as the, uh, so there are some API, you just uh, call the API to initialize the memory, init the memory, uh, and the, the uh, PCI devices and uh, other resources initialization. So you need to call the EAL, uh, the API, to initialize the resource you want to use. And then you can, you can do other things uh, on different cores. Uh, so uh, the other uh, important components, uh, first is the M buffer. This uh, M buffer is to define a data structure uh, for the package buffer. If you want to transfer the packets, you need to allocate the buffer, uh, M buffer. And uh, it is used the uh, M uh, M uh, memory pool. It is the memory pool is the a pool of memory, and uh, it's uh, initialized uh, before you use it, and uh, you can uh, help the uh, uh, it, it helps the M uh, help to allocate and uh, malloc the M buffers. So it is not uh, it's not like M uh, M alloc malloc. So uh, if you when you want to create it, uh, you can just uh, call the M, uh, mempool to uh, alloc the memory from the pool. So it's much better to compare with the glibc. The performance is much better. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, so do you want to support the DBDK? So the DBDK uh, provides all kinds of the API for the uh, for the software, and uh, you can, if you want to support it, and you want to modify the software to support the DBDK, you can call the API. It is uh, uh, a lot of uh, API. Uh, it's a lot of the API for different uh, different components: uh, memory and the device, and uh, the CPU, the logs. Yeah. So, uh, any question? Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, more and more things are uh, trying to bypass the kernel, and uh, because the the kernel maybe cause a lot of our heads, and uh, yeah, so. Especially in the virtualization, we also do the same thing to bypass the kernel, the, put the other thing to the user space. Yeah, that's. Uh, next, uh, I would like to introduce the DBDK in the uh, virtualization uh, environment. So uh, on the left, if we don't uh, use the DBDK, the uh, stack is like this. Here. Uh, the hardware and uh, run the uh, uh, operating system on the hardware, and uh, the QMU process will run the uh, user space. And the guest, guest the kernel, uh, kernel, kernel space, there is the what I own net the driver, and uh, also you can run any applications that are in the guest. So there. Uh, as I have mentioned, that uh, there are still some different spaces to switch. So the uh, the QMU provides the backend, the what I O. It is uh, running in the user space. So what what I O network, the what I O net driver, it is uh, running in the kernel space. Uh, and the, the on the host, the kernel, the V host is uh, running in the uh, kernel space. So. Uh, when they uh, communication and uh, you have to uh, switch is different to the, uh, the space, so there are some overhead for the performance. So we need to, 
to, to improve it, the situation. So in the, on the right, we can see the DBDK. If we use the DBDK, there are different modules are provided. The, in QMU, it provides a special module, it is the vhost user. And uh, in the, on the uh, host, uh, it provides OV, OVS DBDK, which is, uh, 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 open, uh, which is a virtual switch to support the DBDK. And also DBDK library. And on, uh, on the guest, it is uh, provide the DBDK application and uh, watch, uh, what I owe PMD. Uh, they are running in the user space. And also the vhost running on the user space. It doesn't need the kernel uh, of the guest. So this, uh, when they communicate with each other, so the Vertio PMD will communicate with the vhost user directly and the vhost user to communicate the OVS DBDK. OVS DBDK is the user space application on the host. So they, all of them are just running in the user space. So that's, uh, this solution can improve the performance greatly. Yeah. Yeah, the, the OVS DBDK used as a vSwitch. Uh, currently, we use the, the DBDK in virtualization and the OVS DBDK as the vSwitch. We can also choose other vSwitch to improve the performance. Uh, some people have done a lot of work to compare with the different uh, vSwitch of the performance, uh, network performance. Um, and the DBDK library can run the on the host and the guest. It's a, sometimes a little confused because the DBDK, when, they run, when you run on, uh, on the guest and uh, on the host, sometimes how could they communicate, he, communicate with, each, with, with each other? And uh, sometimes it's, uh, uh, you don't know well, it, it, if it is running in the guest or host. <laughs> yeah, the person. Uh, here's the uh, the architecture we are uh, we are running in the virtualization environment uh, the DBDK. So here is the OVS DBDK. It's uh, running on the uh, in the user space. Uh, it uh, emulated the uh, uh, OVS v, v switch. The QMU QMU just uh, provides the vhost user the backend uh, the driver of the uh, what I driver. So uh, the V switch can create a bridge, the uh, virtual bridge, and uh, we can create uh, two ports here based on to connect to the bridge. And uh, it will uh, connect with the DBDK MD driver. Uh, the, the driver will, con uh, will con uh, communicate with the hardware, the network hardware. So this scenario, it's, uh, uh, if you don't want, if you don't have any application to run in the guest, you just want, to, you just can run your OVS DBDK on the host. So this part can improve the performance on the host. So it is uh, to uh, reduce the the overhead in the host kernel. So. Uh, and, uh, another situation is that the DBK in the, uh, can run in the guest. In the guest, if you have any DBK application uh, run in the guest, it provides the what how PMD driver. This PMD driver uh, is in the user, uh, user space. It will communicate with the vhost user as, as it is true that. And, uh, uh, it, it is the, there is a, a V ring and uh, to share with the memory from the QMU and the guest. It doesn't need the kernel, uh, the guest kernel. So the performance is good. So in the uh, vhost user, we will communicate with the 
uh, with a DBDK and uh, v OBS DBDK, and uh, it will communicate with the hardware, the network hardware directly. So the all the uh, process is very, uh, uh, it is very simple, and it doesn't uh, to switch the, uh, the, the, the switch different to the user space and the kernel space. Yeah, I think uh, it, it's, it's it's easy to understand. <laughs> yeah. Any question? Yeah. I, uh, you mean in the guest or? Yeah, both, right? yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. In this uh, in this uh, uh, situation, the in the guest the driver the, there is a what high OPM the driver. It is for the virtual network card. So you can see we have the VNIC uh, VNIC one and uh, VNIC two. We can uh, it is for the what high all the PMD. But on the host the DPDK the PMD driver it's for the physical yeah, yeah. hardware. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right. So how, this is uh, simple, but I think the details there mo is more complicated. You can, if you are interested, you can take more time to look. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. It, this, uh, this, this is uh, our simple scenarios, and I just uh, want to uh, present how it works in the virtualization. So uh, here you can see the guest. Uh, 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 there's two guests here, and uh, we have the OBS on the uh, OBS DBDK on the host. So OBS DBDK on the host will create the, the uh, a file which is the DBDK we host the user. This is a uh, for the QMU, it is a, a file, uh, but it will be uh, as the channel to communicate with the guest. So it's a little different from the, uh, the from, from other uh, situation. If you are, uh, for example, if you uh, if you don't use the DBDK, it will use the uh, IO control to communicate with the host. So this is. Uh, uh, this is different, and it is, uh, uh, it is uh, uh, efficient to improve the network network performance. Yeah. So that is the QMU command line. We can check it that uh, if you want to use the DBDK, you can create the virtual machine as such such as like this. Uh, the socket. Uh, Socket device, there is, uh, it is based on the socket file, which is the DBDK v host user zero zone. And the, the network device, it is a v host user in the QMU. Yeah. So uh, this is a simple the test. Uh, uh, test uh, the performance of the of the OBS DBDK, we use the two guests, the VM one and the VM two, and we run just a simple to run the iProf I to test the performance, the bandwidth, and the transfer rate. So we can just see that the performance is improved greatly. Um, this is test scenarios is just. Uh, uh, just enable on the host of the, with the DVDK. I didn't uh, use it in the guest. So if we 
uh, your state in the gas, then maybe the performance will be much better. According to the test from the Intel, the performance maybe can be uh, improved to 10 times uh, to compare with the uh, uh, network stack. So it's, uh, it's improved greatly. So if you are interested in it, you can try it with a simple uh, application to, to, to run it, yeah. So at last, uh, the conclusion, uh, the DBDK overall, it is a high performance. It can meet a lot of scenarios requirements for the network. Uh, it's also scalability. Uh, it, is, uh, it supports different uh, the platforms and uh, it is uh, open source. You can join it and uh, take a look at it uh, and play with it. it so it uh, optimized the package processing. Yeah. So I think that's, uh, oh, th that's uh, what I want to talk about it. Any question? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, for example, the OpenShift, they have the product to support the DBDK. It is based on the container. But I think the, the vSwitch may be different from the obvious. They may choose other kind of vSwitch. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. I want to <laughs> try to run it. Uh, yeah, I, I will. I will try. But uh, currently, I don't uh, run it. Yeah. If you are interested in, it, maybe you can try it later. Yeah. It's easy. Just, uh, just. Uh, I think uh, just uh, uh, install your library to your to your host and uh, run the uh, container, and uh, it may uh, provide some command line to use your DBDK. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Um, one of the slides you listed the various uh, network types, which are some of the different uh, DBKs, and then there are drivers. And I'm interested whether these drivers, the DBK drivers, are they independent implementation from existing kernel drivers, or if they share some of the code? Uh, you mean the DPTK with the kernel to share share some some information to kernel? Uh, I mean the shared code of the drivers. That you listed lots of lots of uh, network cards are supported by the DPKs. So I wonder whether all of these drivers were implemented from scratch uh, for the DPDK or whether some work could have been re recycled from the kernel drivers. Uh-huh. Uh, sorry, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it maybe it's SPL. Maybe it should be the same with the kernel. I think I did. No, <laughs> sorry, I didn't, didn't notice that. Sorry. Uh huh. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, uh, there, there, there's another uh, a module which in the DPDK it is uh, K K N I to c to connect with the kernel, right? It is uh, another module to connect with kernel. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, please. Uh, do you know, uh, do you know uh, storage performance? Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I, I just uh, tried it before, but I, I'm, I'm not quite so sure the relationship with the DBDK and the SPDK. I think uh, I, I saw some information that SPDK uh, try also can use the DBDK. I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have a question from the YouTube. Yeah. Uh, The security, yeah, I, I think Intel also provides security uh, components, but I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, know about the much about it. So, sorry. I think there, there is a, a, a component to, to to improve the security of the DBDK. Uh, yeah, if you are interested, then maybe you can take a look at it in the future. Yeah. Any question? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.